Hey lovely people, welcome back to my channel, it's Candy here. Today I'm going to do a VR to Bonnie over at Old Soul Mermaid. Now I've only just found Bonnie's channel and I just think she's fabulous, the channel's fantastic. I'll put all the links to Bonnie's original video in my description box. But Bonnie did a while ago now a video about how she stores her tarot decks, just where does she keep them all? And she started a tag about um, tarot deck storage and asked people to do a VR to show where they store their decks. I thought that would be a really nice, fun video to make. Now, I do have um, decks in here, which is the downstairs spare room, which I've turned kind of into a tarot room, a library, the piano's in here, the dog's beds are in here as well for when they created just at night. I've got a few altars around the house and there's some tarot decks on those so I can show you those. So it's going to be a, it's going to be a really quick look at my entire collection because it's where it's stored. It's going to be a little quick snapshot of some of the altars around the house and also a celebration of free, upcycled, recycled, gifted and found furniture. Because for me, the only time I like shopping or acquiring things is when it's second hand. I like shopping to feel like treasure hunting. Um, I will go into skips if I see anything interesting. I um, will upcycle. I collect tons of things off free cycle which is people giving things away for free and I work with them and you'll see some of that too in this video so I hope that sounds fun so where do I keep my decks let's go and have a look so the majority of decks in my are in my tarot room of course my desk in the bay window and because we're quite overlooked from the road and I love the old lace up at the windows. I've kind of blocked the view at night by putting furniture in. So there's a lot of decks over there, which I'll show you in a minute. And also behind me, there's a wall of bookcases. Now these bookcases and a bookcase in the lounge and bookcases upstairs were gifted to me by a friend who, she had a real tight deadline for moving house. I've got a big, seven seater car because of all of Tilly's disability equipment. Um, so I emptied the car and spent a day helping her move. And as a thank you, she was leaving these bookcases in the house that she was moving from. Didn't know whether the buyer wanted them, they weren't listed. She asked me if I could use them. Gifted bookcases, which have been fantastic. So. These bookcases have also got some tarot decks up there, which again, I'll show you. But first, let's look at the desk. Again, I'm going to talk about upcycled objects because I just love it. Now, the desk I bought for, for about £30 from a charity shop. I just loved that sort of old fashioned style desk. I loved all the wear and all the stains on the wood. To me, that's just glorious so this is my main tarot desk and in the window you will see that I have a bookcase there this really odd little piece of furniture here and I have a cupboard a mirrored cupboard there all of these pieces of furniture were either found or bought from a charity shop or I built from really cheap things from a charity shop. So the first found piece was this bookcase here. Now I used to have a rental property and inevitably every time tenants left, they would leave bits of furniture. And this was a little cheap white bookcase. I say cheap, but it's just like an old painted bookcase that I thought would be really useful. I used to keep shoes on it, but now it just fits perfectly in the the turn of the bay and you can hear I've got traffic I've got a main road here um I didn't want to use the curtain rack for big heavy curtains because uh, I love the lace you can see I've got an uh, old tablecloth and old lace again all thrifted in the window and with these bits of furniture here 
I can sit in here with the lights on at night and still nobody can see and so it's really good. So this was a free little bookcase and on there you can see I have some of my bigger boxes of decks. So I've got like the Osho Zen and the True Heart, I've got the Chrysalis, I've got my Inner Child cards, my Moon Oracle, my Sacred Geometry decks. So you can see I've got a, a good selection there of different decks. This little um, unit here is actually a letter rack. Another friend moving house, she asked on Facebook if anybody could use them and I thought this would just be really nice for all of the little decks that I've got that I do often reach for so the Chicole, the Mythical Creatures Affirmation cards which Tilly loves we used to use this daily at the minute she has replaced it with another favorite deck which I'll show you in a minute so I've got my Tarot of the Spirit and my first soul deck Tarot of the Sweet Twilight. I've got my Rider Waite and the Goddesses deck, a little Frida deck. Um, so that's just really been fantastic for some of the bigger boxes. Now, if I go the other side, this is the same friend offered me um, another letter rack and I said I can probably use both. So I kind of keep um, notes for my kids Anything that I write on loose paper goes in there. Sometimes if I've got cards of the day, they go in here. At the minute, I've got cards and postcards sent by YouTube friends and some um, different cards I got sent that are out, uh, which has just been lovely. So, and sometimes I'll slide decks I'm using in there. Now this little unit in the center, um, I bought for four pounds from a charity shop. I just thought it was a really unusual little unit. It's really low. It's got like a sealed shelf there and I thought it would be nice to put plants on. Um, it's also great for clipping lights or my phone holder if I'm filming on the desk on it. I can clamp them all onto this. I've got some of my tinned decks are here. This is it. There's a deck in there that I got sent by um, the gorgeous Queen Asset sent me a deck that's in there that I've been using. Um, Shannon, who is one of my subs on here. Hi, Shannon, who is one of the most gorgeous and generous people I think I've ever met. She sent me that, so that's in there. I've got some tin decks there. Um, in here, I've got some of the mini white books I keep. Um, I've got charms in there, some current journals so um there's that so some decks are kept on there and then i have this little jewelry box here that one of my best friends cheryl gave me in a clear out very recently which i've got pens for journaling i've got my ink and my feather there the morrigan poetry and i've got some loose decks here which the boxes i just can't stand the boxes for um, and these are in here stored ready for me to make bags or buy bags for them so I've got the Brian Froud fairies oracle there this is the creativity oracle um, I've got the magician's deck in there a lovely new reading cloth that I got sent from a YouTube friend. Now, this cupboard here is really special. This cupboard has got a story. Now, this cupboard didn't start off as a cupboard. It started off as a, a CD unit in a charity shop, which I bought for £5. So, originally, all the shelves were the same height and there was no big compartments like there and there so I altered the shelving around and refixed the shelving and I turned it into a, um, a jewellery box for my middle daughter Poppy for one of her Christmas presents. At the time she was um, under 10 she always wore tiaras and huge glittery necklaces she was constantly covered in bangles and I just wanted a beautiful huge scale jewellery box for her and I looked online to buy one and some of the ones that like a three foot tall um, 
were like £150. I just thought that's just insane. So I found this cupboard in a charity shop for I think it was, yeah, I think it was either four or five pounds, I think it was five pounds. And we, I had an old mirror as well, which at the time Poppy had got in her bedroom. So this was an old mirror that had been lent up against the wall. Again, a charity shop find a few pounds. I stole the mirror and told her I'd broken it vacuuming. <laughs> but really, I was secretly making this. So all I did, I hinged the mirror to turn it into a door. And I bought from a charity shop a box of these Flower Fairy postcards. They're all postcards. And what I did, I just PVA'd them all on. I added bits of old vintage lace and I painted it all inside in, in some of these alcoves. Inside the cabinet, I did the same. The hooks used to be where she hung her necklaces from. And again, you can see there's an alcove here again with hooks in and with the fairies inside. And then on each side, there are fairies on each side of the cupboard as well. Um, now, when she became a teenager, her taste in jewellery has totally changed. She no longer wears tiaras, surprisingly. And her, she has, she has, doesn't have her ears pierced. She doesn't really wear jewellery. If she does, it's like just a little ring or something. And of course, she wanted a room makeover. She wanted more space. She wanted a spacious teenage room. And she asked if I would take this out and if I'd mind. And of course, I didn't because I just love it. And I asked if I could use it just to store some tarot decks in. And she said, yeah, no, that's brilliant. She was really happy that it was going to be still used and it wasn't just going to be thrown out. And here we are. So um, it is wired up there so it doesn't tip forward. And I didn't even have to change anything because all of these hooks here, they're actually like um, really cheap door, cupboard door knobs that I bought. But they were bought to hang all her tiaras and scarves and different things off. So I've got those each side which I hang my decks that are in bags. So I've got decks hanging each side. And then inside was just a, a fantastic, um, it's a fantastic space, just perfect to house different decks. So um, yeah, I've got all sorts in there. I've got my Tarot of the She there. I've got the Luminous Void Tarot up there. Those are my Ted Andrews Rune set. My soul cards are up there. Uh, Messenger Oracle and my Light Seers, which is really well used. There's some Marseille decks there waiting for me to get to learning that. Um, so yeah, that is my main cupboard for my decks. You can see I do have quite a few decks, but it's not so big a collection as some. But it's a collection that I love. So I've got a cupboard, a bookcase, and then if we come over here to these bookcases, um, so I've really just got one shelf on here that's got some, some decks on. So I've got my Raincoast Pocket Tarot, which I won off the lovely Christoph James, my Guardian, the Ellis, the Crow, my archetype cards, Mika sent me though, the modern witch tarot, which I love. And um, I've got a little collection of all of these um, old fashioned decks that come with the book attached. I've got my divine dogs wisdom cards there, which the lovely queen of set also sent me. So I've got a shelf there as and when my collection begins to grow there will be room to add on, I'm certain. Now, here's my Kanban board. By this Kanban board, I have Holly's deck, which is a mandala deck. Now, Holly is a subscriber on the channel. Um, Holly, very generously for my birthday, sent me a beautiful 
um, package uh, with the Lightseers decking, which immediately became my one of my ultimate most used, most loved decks. But this is actually Holly's deck. So I keep that here by my Kanban board. Um, and I want to show you the other places as well that I keep just the odd deck here or there. So I've got my Lego altar that I built, which is in my tarot room as well. Um, I've got my card of the month pulled there. And I've got an animal card and a flower card, crystal card, and also a moon card for the month, which goes on my turn turning Lego altar. Um, so some cards, and sometimes I keep main decks out on here too. Um, so some I'd kept by my Lego altar. If I ever need to do a big reading, I clear that and do a big reading there. These are the dog's beds here. Okay, up by my front door, I have um, a doll's house, an old doll's house. This is another present that I made for Poppy. Um, oh my gosh, she was really little, but we keep all of our school supplies, bags, school bags, shoes, post as well all goes on there there's all sorts of stuff shoved in there um and on the top of it apart from a few pieces of my artwork um there there is a another little altar now i use this for um protection for finds that i find on walks i collect feathers and stones that call out to me but I also keep my crystals deck. Again, another present from Shannon, which I got this year. And I've said to her, she knows this, it feels like a hug deck. All of Shannon's decks that she sent to me, it feels like, because um, she sent me a few, I'm about to show you another one. It does feel like being seen, <laughs> friendship, kindness. I am going to do a video about the... Um, the kindness found within the community online and the lessons it's taught me in generosity as well. Um, but I can't show you this this altar with this deck without touching on that um, because th through people like Shannon, uh, Queen of Set, Holly, Jen, um, you're another one, Nancy, you're another one. There's been real lessons for me in generosity and just trusting that there's kindness around you anyway i totally digress now this unit i have to confess was taken out of an abandoned building one of my all-time passions is um urban exploring with my camera i just love it and me and a friend we literally dug our way into an abandoned building that was about to be demolished it had been partially burned we knew it was scheduled for being demolished there's now a, a new build estate been built on top of it and i think we were probably some of the last people to get into the building um we took some amazing photographs. Oh my gosh, it, talk about pure magic. And this was a piece of, um, it was an old pub. And I think this had been used to sell cigarette packets on. And because I knew the, the building was literally about to be torn down and this would be gone, I did take it out. I'd never touch or take anything from an urban exploration. But this place was so magical. And because I knew that in like a, a few weeks it was going to be gone and demolished, I didn't feel bad about taking this out with me. I cleaned it up because it was covered in soot and it just has the most amazing energy. So this is a little protection altar I've got by the door and I've got the crystals deck on it because I'll often pull a crystals card. Look, here's one out here for the day or for the week. And it's a little reminder, Shannon, that there are people like you out in the world every time I go out my front door. So that space is really special for me. And it's not just a crystal deck. Sometimes I'll put another deck up here that resonates with me. So that's another space I've got right by my front door. OK, we're in my lounge now. Here is another bookcase um, for my friend who moved. 
it's full of pictures of the kids. I've also got my animal altar here um, because animal energy does really speak to me. Um, if you watched my um, first video in the Dancing with Deity series, you will know about experiences with crows, but also the swans and the octopus. Those are three animals that really mean a lot to me. And in my lounge, I have this space. Um, I've also got all the typical pictures of my kids, my two girls, my little boy, me and my first dog, Maisie. Um, and all the stones, these pebbles and stones mean ever such a lot to me. And we'll often find them and collect them and paint them. And here's some stone painting that me and the kids have been doing. But you will see that there's a garden dragons deck here. And I said earlier that Tilly's favourite deck has been replaced by another favourite deck. And it's this one. Shannon also sent me this one. This, um, I think it was this month, Shannon, wasn't it? Oh my gosh, we all love it. I'm still to do a walkthrough of it. But you can see the dragons are all based on different types of food you've got the broccoli dragon the asparagus dragon and the strawberry dragon why are there three cards out here because every morning before the school run all three of my kids want a dragon card to set their energy for the day all four of us in this house adore this deck it's just lovely. In fact, Tilly often asks me to put it in the car so that if she's ever in the car, she can just sit and flick through it. She loves it. So that deck at the moment is held on here. Okay, we're in my art studio now. I am not going to pan round because it's so messy in here. It looks like I've been burgled. <laughs> I'm not even joking. So we're just going to focus on the shelf because in my art studio, I've got loads of art books and I also have one shelf, which I do sometimes keep some decks on. I call this my art altar. Various things go on at various times. The Queen is on here, Frida Kahlo, whose life and story inspires me. There is one of her prints there. Um, I've got some cards from the Whispers of Healing deck. Um, I have my Art Oracles deck. Normally, my little Frida deck is on here. So if I'm working in the art studio and feel the need to either pull a card to do with my art or something I'm going through, decks do get transferred out onto here as well. And this is a bookcase that I found in a skip. Yes, in a skip. I am the person that will climb into a skip to pull something like this out. Um, though I have a few pieces of furniture that I've found in skips. Completely brilliant, solid wood bookcase. Um, I, in, I just like the idea of finding a treasure. I like the idea of things not going into landfill. Um, everything I repurpose to me feels like not having to um, buy. And I don't say that because I'm stingy with money. Yeah. But, um, I, I just like that idea of of making something out of what somebody else throws away or discards. So some of my decks often find their way out here, depending on how much time I'm spending in the art studio, what I'm working on, if I need support with my art practice with tarot um, or anything really, decks can be changed out here. And lastly, up in my bedroom. Now, this is my main altar space. It's the altar that I meditate at. If I have any um, workings on the go, I will do workings around here. I have, um, I have another little altar here, which is my um, goddess altar. Although it's all really a goddess altar, to be honest. But on here, I keep my weaver's oracle. Um, there's the box for it and I work with a card a month. You can see that I have the clay grandmother turtle out at the moment for this new moon cycle to new moon. So it's new moon to new moon. So every moon cycle I pull a new card out. Um, I also have my sacred geometry deck up here, which I do pull to work with, um, with the Morrigan. 
and I often have my crow tarot up here but I haven't got it up here at the minute but I use my um crow um the crow tarot as well so those three decks tend to stay up here yeah and then over this side of my um bedroom I I cannot cannot leave a vintage toy if I see it looking sad and lonely I really do put feelings into objects and this was a little um vintage donkey that I bought years ago and found a friend for him a few years ago and me and my daughter we actually cried that you've got a friend we both sat here and cried my son just rolls his eyes honestly he really does but look his his arms are just wide enough to hold one of these um these tiny mini decks so i've got two of these decks one i keep downstairs but one i keep up here just as I'm leaving my bedroom in the morning, I will pull a little Frida card, say hello to my saved toys, give him the card to hold. And I've given him a really important purpose in life next to my escaping unicorns from their broken carousel. Um, it just is a little bit of magic to start the day with. So... <laughs> I have vintage toys, recycled furniture, upcycled furniture, furniture saved from skips. This unit here was also saved from going to the tip. That same friend that gave me all the white bookcases was also asked me to take this to the tip for her. And I said, can I have it? Which sits on top of a unit that another friend was taking to the tip. Look, I built my altar out of it. It's just brilliant. An altar with storage in. So upcycled furniture, saved furniture, treasure hunted furniture, gifted furniture, um, <laughs> made furniture. I use them all to store my decks um, in different sacred places around my house, mostly in my tarot room. And that's so, I hope you found that interesting. Where do I store my decks? In magical, saved, reclaimed, treasure hunted places around my home that are full of memory. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.